here's Justice Mike Barrett. Success. Good morning. Who has about 18 things for breakfast. What are you having this morning? Well, <laughs> Steve Bowen stopped at the Starbucks and bought us all coffee. Oh, good. So uh, that's where we're good. starting. Great. And let's see, we're having granola. Uh huh. It's crunchy until you're rehydrated. Uh huh. Scrambled eggs. Uh huh. Pretty much everything is crunchy until you're rehydrated. Uh huh. And uh, let's see what else do we have down here. Uh, citrus fruit salad. <laughs> and what are you doing today? Well, today Mike and I are going to remove or move the uh, PMM, which is the big module that's currently in uh, Payload Bay of Discovery, over to the station, and that will complete the assembly of the ISS. Houston Station on the Big Loop for Robo, and uh, if you guys are set, we'll go ahead and start marching through step one of the uh, PMM unbirth and install. Astronauts Mike Barrett and Nicole Stott use the Canadarm2 to lift the permanent multi-purpose module out of Discovery's payload bay this morning and install it on the nadir side of the Unity node. Ready? The uh, former MPLM named Leonardo had the uh, hatch opened at uh, 517 Central Time on Tuesday and Station Commander Scott Kelly led the way for the crew members to uh, enjoy that new space on board the space station. The new module will serve as a storage area, but it will also be a home to science, part of the retrofitting of Leonardo to make it a permanent addition to the space station, involved changing some internal equipment and the life extension of some other systems, including the installation of cooling, water, video interfaces, power and data to support science operations inside that module. Much of the rest of the time today was spent in preparation for the second spacewalk of the flight that begins on Wednesday morning. Spacewalkers Steve Bowen and Al Drew will be headed out the door, this time to conduct a, a wide variety of tasks, including venting any remaining ammonia from a failed space station pump module. They'll be installing cameras on the Dexter robotics module and installing covers on a number of cameras to keep them from having vehicle thruster plume eroding their lenses. All of that wrapping up the uh, day on flight day six on board the International Space Station, the, the second of two spacewalks planned for this flight on tap.